Well, how's it going, guys? This app has been brought to my attention by the publisher because of a previous app I have reviewed about like six months ago. The app I'm going to talk about today is called A Paramirror, which you can cast your phone to your computer very easily, as you can see. It runs very smooth, and I don't really see any lag on it. I'm also currently running it on Wi-Fi as well, which you can run it on either USB or Wi-Fi. It works on iOS and Android, but if you use Android, you're going to need Google Home if you want audio and video. With this app, you can also control your phone with your computer, which is pretty awesome. So how do we set this up? Well, first go to APowerSoft website, then click on products, then click on phone, mirror, and control, which I'll also have a link in the description as well for easy access. Then just on the middle of the page, click download and wait for it to download. So after it downloads, of course, just install it. This part is very simple. I don't think you need a tutorial on this. Now, depending on what you want to do with this program, you can just log in as a guest, sign up, or purchase it for more features. Also, before we can fully use this program, we need to connect the phone either USB or Wi-Fi, and you gotta make sure you're on the same network if you choose Wi-Fi for the phone and your computer. Now, on your phone, you want to cast your screen either using Google Home or a Power Mirror to connect to your computer. Now, if everything went well, you should be casting your phone to your computer right now. So let's take a look at the features this app has to offer. It has a full screen option to see your phone at full screen on your computer. You can take screenshots of what's on your phone and it gets sent to your computer to easily view it. It also has a whiteboard option with multiple colors which you can just draw on your screen and just have fun with it. In the settings you can change the display, change the recording option, language, and a few other features. Now I'm going to do a quick test record to show the quality of the recording and record my mic with the program as well, which is very useful for Let's Play videos. So here is the test footage using just my microphone. I have my TV volume a little bit low, and I did try this with the game audio and the microphone, but it seems to mix it together. Maybe it's my settings I didn't do properly, but this is a good test just to show it off. This is Super Mario Running, of course, if you didn't know that, but I'm sure you already do, and you can see how much I suck at this game. But it actually records it very smoothly too, as you can see in my videos. Another feature this app has to offer is you can actually control your Android phone using your computer. It's good for more like office work or slow paced gaming, but if you're playing a fast paced game, it's not great because of the input lag. Well hopefully you're intrigued with this app and it's a lot better than the previous one I reviewed some time ago. You can easily use this app for live streaming using like OBS or XSplit. So let me know if you're going to try out this app in the comments below and what do you guys think about it. And as always, have a smashing day.